Here, we'll show you how to multiply mixed numbers. First of all, let's review what mixed numbers are. Here's a mixed number. A mixed number consists of two parts, a whole number and a fraction. Before we multiply a mixed number with something, we first need to change it to an improper fraction. The denominator of the improper fraction is the same as in the fraction of the mixed number, 8 in this case. Remember, to find the numerator, we go to the mixed number and multiply the whole number by the denominator. In this case, it's 2 times 8, which is 16. To the 16, we add the numerator of the mixed number, 5 in this case. So the numerator of our improper fraction is 16 plus 5, or 21. And our improper fraction is 21 over 8. Let's do an example. We're asked to multiply 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 2 sevenths. We start by changing 2 and 5 eighths to an improper fraction. 2 times 8 equals 16, plus 5 equals 21. So the first improper fraction is 21 eighths. Our other mixed number is 3 and 2 sevenths. To change this to an improper fraction, we go 3 times 7 equals 21, plus 2 equals 23. So the improper fraction is 23 sevenths. To find the answer, we need to multiply these two improper fractions. Before we multiply these, it's important to check the diagonal numbers to see if we can simplify them. Checking the 23 and the 8, we see that no number will divide into both of these, so we can't simplify these. Now we'll look at the 21 and the 7. Both 21 and 7 can be divided by 7. 21 divided by 7 equals 3, and 7 divided by 7 equals 1. So we change 21 to 3 and 7 we change to 1. So to find the answer, we must multiply 3 eighths times 23 over 1. We multiply the numerators, 3 times 23, which gives us 69, and we multiply the denominators, 8 times 1, which gives us 8. So multiplying these two fractions gives us 69 over 8. 69 over 8 is an improper fraction, so we need to make it into a mixed number to get the final answer. We need to find the largest number of times that 8 divides into 69. We'll try 8 and write it as a whole number here. 8 times 8 is equal to 64, which is just a bit under 69. 8 times 9 equals 72, which is larger than 69, so 9 is too big. Our mixed number will have a fraction whose denominator is 8. To find the numerator, we go 8 times 8 equals 64, and we subtract 64 from the numerator of the improper fraction, 69 in this case, which gives us 5. So our final answer is the mixed number 8 and 5 eighths. Let's summarize this whole question. We're asked to multiply the mixed numbers 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 2 sevenths. We convert these to improper fractions to give us 21 over 8 times 23 over 7. Dividing both 21 and 7 by 7 gives us 3 eighths times 23 over 1. Multiplying these, we get the improper fraction 69 over 8, which we convert to the mixed number 8 and 5 eighths. So 2 and 5 eighths times 3 and 2 sevenths is equal to 8 and 5 eighths. Here's one for you to try. You can use the same steps as we used in the example we just showed. Start by converting both mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then simplify anything you can in these fractions. Next, multiply the remaining fractions. And lastly, if the answer is an improper fraction, convert it to a mixed number. Pause the video at this point and use these steps to come up with an answer. Then you can resume the video and check your answer. We take the two mixed numbers we're multiplying 
and convert them to improper fractions. 3 times 4 equals 12, plus 3 comes out to 15 quarters. And the second one, 2 times 5 equals 10, plus 3, is equal to 13 fifths. The 15 and the 5 can both be divided by 5 to give us 3 and 1. So our fractions are now 3 quarters times 13 over 1. 3 times 13 is 39, and 4 times 1 equals 4. So the product of these two fractions is 39 over 4. 4 goes into 39 9 times. So the whole number in our mixed number is 9. The denominator of the fraction is 4. 9 times 4 equals 36. And 39 minus 36 gives us a remainder of 3. So the numerator of our fraction is 3. And the final answer to this question is 9 and 3 quarters. The best way to get really good at multiplying mixed numbers is to practice them a lot.